Good afternoon, y'all. Look, it's crazy. I didn't click record. Look, check the time. 12.21. You could all see 12.21. That could be of significance to you all. Um, some of you could see mirroring numbers. But you already know what we finna get into. I hope you all are having a good day so far. And have a good rest of the day. We're going to get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We're going to get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. What does our Elohim want us to know at this time? We have King of Pentacles. So we have a King of Pentacles here. This ending cycles here. Okay. King of Pentacles could be ending cycles, partnerships. This could be some form of um, provider or something like that. This uh, individual is laying things to rest here. This uh, person could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. They could be communicating this here. Yeah, this, this person is surrendering here surrendering these things okay maybe things that no longer serves them this individual is surrendering to the most high here which is beautiful it's always beautiful oh look at that oh look at that look what somebody doing <laughs> this would be beautiful i love to see it somebody is in the cycles learning lessons communicating surrendering to the divine to the most high Yahweh. Look, right after that, new passionate beginning. This person is going to begin anew and become what? An emperor here. This person is going to be gifted here. And this person is going to rise up from the king of pentacles into the emperor here. They're taking a leap of faith to do so. And, they're, and people are panicking and worrying about this here. Worrying about this person having a new life. Worried about this person balancing and getting the victory um, in their life. People that backstabbed this individual. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could have backstabbed this person here, tried to completely ruin them. And we got the Four of Cups. This person regrets that shit. This person regrets taking whatever action that they took and whatever plan that they formed for stuff to go in their favor, for things to be balanced. Okay, this person uh, was trying to sacrifice a leader here and for abundance, spiritual work. Trying to be in control. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, risky behavior. Knight of Wands in the past. Okay, somebody could have even been left out in a cold because of this. But this person is learning something here. Yep. Oh, look, and you know, and I just said this person is learning something here. And look what came out the Three of Pentacles. Learning from the divine, learning from the heavenly teacher. And this person is getting law and liberty brought into their life. The Most High is going to take action in their world and bless them. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. It's always good to learn you something. Look, now this person about to be on the road to, um, you know, their legacy, their foundation, their security. Uh, this individual could even be learning something and see that individuals had hidden intentions here. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yep. Listen. They see that people could have even been family or 
uh, somebody that they have a family with. Or something like that here with these hidden intentions here. These people who were wearing masks here. We have a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, this masculine or feminine here. Or they have these signs in their chart. Sagittarius. Cancer. Aries. Scorpio. Because there was a lot of confusion, a lot of competition, a lot of chaos, a lot of battling, a lot of manipulation, a lot of people wanting to persevere over another. Some of these people are mentally entrapped here. A lot of superficial individuals, stuck life forces, a lot of petty gossiping. Um, a lot of watching. It was a lot going on here. Somebody could call. Somebody called an individual too as well here. So someone could miss an opportunity. This was a plan. Somebody called, told lies. Um, somebody got Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. It was a plan that they had to call, tell lies, to go against someone here. Okay, this bot past struggle here. These a lot of people tried to have control over whoever this King of Pentacles is, but they gonna regret that. They're gonna regret it. These four just popped out here. We have the lover's energy. Double confirmation of a Gemini. Double confirmation of a Libra. We have an Aquarius, Cancer, and a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. These individuals could have been working together. This Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Swords, they had hidden intentions here. Or even if they wasn't working together, these two women had hidden intentions to for stuff to balance out the way they wanted it to balance out. They could have been watching. They they were watching this man here. They were watching this man that they tried to trap. This man could be uh, angelic. This man could be a temperance energy. They were watching this man that they were trying to trap. They wanted this man to remain trapped, superficial, restrained life force, and stuck. They wanted to change this person's will of fortune here. Somebody got Aquarius in their chart, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Yep, these people tried to be in control, but here come the tower. Somebody, some people, somebody about to get thrown the hell out. People was also trying to control, like, you know, fear base, trying to have this control and shit. Something unexpected is about to occur. Then we have the will of fortune. People about to get karma with the will of fortune in the tower. Whatever, whatever side you was on, whoever was trying to block this man. You finna get karma. Something unexpected is gonna happen to you. Whoever was on the other side trying to help this man, you may get something unexpectedly good. But karma here. Fates will be decided. Because this individual... Is called to have a spiritual rebirth where this person could be inspired to have that. Look at that. A new opportunity from the divine. Ace of Pentacles. 
nine of cups. Somebody tried to block somebody's wish fulfillment here. Somebody tried to block somebody being fulfilled. And they were backstabbing this individual, acting like everything was fine. It could have been people this man celebrated with, were friends with too. Not only family, friends, and lovers. Was trying to hold this individual back for pentacles. Four of cups. They're going to be in regret though. You can see 44. You can see 44. They're going to be in regret about that. They didn't want somebody to see. They, these individuals basically wanted to tell somebody what their wish fulfillment was. Nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. <laughs> this is it. Nah, that's what I'm getting. Wanted to tell somebody what their fulfillment was. They tried to block them from what, you know, will really fulfill them. And keep them trapped and stuck. It was a whole plan. Eight of swords with the tower. These fucking mentally ill motherfuckers. Because to even think you can do that to somebody and you got that motherfucking right. You're fucking crazy. Look, they tried to hold this person back from their divine opportunities. Ace of Pentacles. They tried to hold it. They tried to hold this individual back because these people felt that. I don't know. Maybe they felt like they will get held back from, you know, or they won't get, you know, to share the wealth or whatever the case may be. If this person surrendered to the divine and got divine opportunity. So imagine a gang of people, family, lovers and friends holding on to somebody trying to keep them stuck from reaching the light or reaching things that would be fulfilling for them. But probably claim they love this individual so much. They wanted this person outcasted from heaven and stuck just like them. Control. Telling you, this is all about control and fear of other individuals. Control and fear. And an attack. In the past, somebody could have attacked the Queen of Cups in the past. Somebody connected between heaven and earth, somebody who is spiritual or could give spiritual guidance here. Okay, it could be somebody spiritually resilient that people were saying was a whore or a hoe. But they a damn high priestess or a knowledgeable person, somebody that's blessed and connected between heaven and earth, somebody that's truly abundant. Somebody attacked this person's abundance too. This is a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities, and it was actually somebody's soulmate. This person could be spiritual, be in their faith, be wise, be loving, be nurturing. And someone attacked them in the past here. Maybe this man did. Or a Virgo did. Or a Sag did. Sagittarius or a Virgo. Or they have that highly aspected in their chart. There's knowledge of what somebody did and partnered up to do. A Aries is involved too as well. There's knowledge of what somebody partnered up to do to get to victory here.
This person that was attacked could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. But whoever this is is spiritually resilient. Yep. They wanted to cause stress and burdens for this person. Even wanted this person to pass away. Probably by the way of some form of spiritual manipulation or something like that. They wanted this person to pass away. They wanted this person to be left out in the cold here. Five of Pentacles. With nothing. Attacking somebody. Look. Look how this just lined up, y'all. Attacking somebody abundant. To have them in the Five of Pentacles. Causing death. Somebody tried to cause death spiritually to somebody for real. But all somebody did was renew them. All somebody did was become renewed. They became better. They actually transformed and had a metamorphosis because of spiritual guidance and being connected to heaven and earth. Maybe whoever was doing this to this individual didn't know that this person was connected. Didn't know this person was a star-like energy here. But they tried it. They definitely tried it. Definitely did that. Could have been out of jealousy here with this five of swords being out here on the um, table here. Jealousy, insecurity. Okay, people could have even teamed up to do so. Look, that was the imp <coughs> This was the empress the entire time. <laughs> all this, look, and this person, all they did was transform. The death, death and the rebirth, five of pentacles, empress. The level up. Somebody, somebody's friend or somebody's friends, whether it was this empress's friends or this masculine's friends wanted to be seen as the empress here. But this feminine still got justice because they are strong. They still became gifted and enlightened. They could have Leo, Pisces in their chart, Libra, Taurus. They still became enlightened. And they're enlightened about whoever this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is they keep watching and spying too. They know that too. They know that this person, what this person was doing to cause past struggles too as well. Um, balance and justice is coming in for this uh, empress here. Things will be balanced and there will be justice to be had for what people try to do. To somebody. People try to do this to two people. People try to do this to two individuals. Yes, people try to do this to two people. Whoever it is, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Pisces, Masculine, double confirmation of a Leo, was watching, petty gossiping, in slight competition and shit with this man or this woman. Somebody wanted to cause some type of unexpected tower in somebody's home, backstabbed and betrayed them. Something happened to somebody in their home. They wanted this higher font, this higher level being to feel at a loss, at a five of cups. They wanted to change their fate. 
They thought whatever happened to this person in their home would surely make this person commit suicide or some shit. Whatever with this Sagittarius or Leo here, they thought surely this person will commit suicide or something or lose their life or be at a loss. But that shit was blocked. This person persevered over that devilish, demonic ass shit. Look who peeking. Look who peeking. But it did break this individual's heart to see the hidden intentions that people have for them. So this is why this individual walked the fuck away. And laid shit to rest. Somebody also going to get laid to rest. It did cause a lot, cause a lot of heartbreak and suffering. To know. The hidden intentions that people have for somebody. And this is a loving individual here. A nurturing individual here, a spiritual individual here, an abundant individual here. We have the will of fortune in reverse here for whatever work a Aries Leo Sagittarius woman or male, or they just got them highly aspected in their chart, or if they not, they a couple. They either a couple. Or either two people that just work together that be sleeping with each other. Could be karmic soulmates. Or could be separate people doing separate things. These could even just be hoes, whores. I'm getting prostitutes and whoremongers. But these people, Will of Fortune is in reverse now, and their fate has changed, and they're getting fucking karma for whatever they were working on and doing. Now they're mentally entrapped. Now they mentally messed up. Now they going through it. Some of them might in, even end up in jail. Or mentally, spiritually, or emotionally, these people are fucked. And again, they are stuck. For all of this competition, all of this petty gossip, all of this bullshit, all of this watching, stalking bullshit too. All of this trying to battle somebody else, whether spiritually or physically too as well. These people are in fucking trouble. Their will of fortune is in reverse. Somebody got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in a chart. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer. These people will be uncertain of whether they'll be in poverty or not because fair, fairness and balance is coming in. See, somebody is getting handed something here and then you see this hand is kind of up more and they not focused on this individual here. This is what's gonna happen. And it's horrible to get breadcrumb by the divine. The divine is gonna be handing and gifting somebody else while these people are gonna be sitting and waiting with their hands open, but he may still have a gift for them, but it ain't, they're not priority. They gonna be uncertain a little bit, having to sweat a little bit because of the hard work that they did, causing this fucking chaos, competition, arguments. They worked hard on this shit just to persevere here. Knight of Pentacles, by the way, of the motherfucking devil. What they should have did was walk away and rise up. But no, somebody getting walked away from too. Maybe a witch is letting go. A witch is either letting go. A mother could be letting go. 
or somebody could just be a mother, somebody could have kids, but there's a lot of walking away and shit getting laid to rest around this month. Because somebody tried to have somebody tied up for their complete happiness and they under judgment for that. And the judgment is for these people to suffer and be at a loss. The judgment is for these people to be crying and be uncertain and unsettled. The judgment is for these people to be upset, traumatized, and broken. Some of them ready to self-harm. Some of them then lost their spirit. But it's not for no reason. It's for y'all to change and get that shit together. The ones who survive, if you get to make it through it, whatever it is, it's for you to renew yourself. It's time for enlightenment. And since individuals ain't want to do it, you know, on their own and see that they needed to change and they wanted to have hidden intentions and doing risky shit, now you here go your enlightenment by force. Or, you know what, I, you can get down or you can lay down. And if you lay down, you're going to stay down. <laughs> that just ran across my mind because y'all can't be out here doing shit to people. Y'all need to fucking heal. Time to heal. Because y'all out here doing crazy shit to people and think that shit is cute and okay. Y'all really think that's all right. This magician work that y'all be doing and shit too. That y'all gonna be fucking sorry for. All that manipulation. Being manipulative through lies, sex, fake love, and money. If it's not magician work or, uh... Whipping some bullshit up. Y'all gonna be sorry for all of the battles that y'all felt like y'all won and that y'all celebrated against another because it's all coming back. Y'all thought y'all got away. Look at that. Nine of swords. Y'all panicking and worrying now, as you should be. Because y'all about to be completely ruined and backstabbed and betrayed for what y'all was trying to completely ruin. Y'all did a lot. Y'all was pushing away y'all healing. Y'all was trying to cause confusion. But y'all gonna regret that. Some of y'all even traveled. Traveled afar to do bullshit too as well. Some of y'all may even get laid to rest on your travels. Or things may get laid to rest on the travels. I've been picking that up a lot. Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Capricorn, Gemini. But it's time for you all. You're getting y'all y'all to have multiple opportunities that y'all kept saying no to for y'all to expand, for y'all to get holy rest and have rest in the holy place and get downloads and learn. But y'all was saying no when the divine kept trying to hand you a cup. No, 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 I don't want that. No, no, no. I'd rather work hard on um, competing, causing chaos, being in competition with people, being superficial and shit. Instead of taking the offer from the divine to wake up and get a line, mind, body, spirit and get perfected in the spirit. And the divine is a true friend because that's what the divine was offering you. But nah, y'all wanted this. Look at the difference. These individuals worked hard for this. While the divine was like, look, I want to celebrate with you, friend. Ace of Cups, overflowing cup. Nah, but these people wanted this. So this is what they'll get. Look, and they told lies, did sneaky, underhanded shit to motherfucking get it. Thought they had the victory. Whoever this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio male is, they ass under judgment. And they judgment is to be heartbroken and suffer. Be at a loss. Be in the nine of wands and struggle and shit. Or this is what somebody wanted for them. Or this is what they did. 
going against somebody and shit. It's going to be a sad day for some people. Yup, because they asses is blocked. Blocked out is going to be a sad day for some individuals. Or sad times, should I say. And why, right when I was saying that. Confirmation. Thank you. Five of Cups. That's what people going to be in. Some of these people ain't going to have no choice but to uh, get enlightened. Or they're going to be stuck wherever the fuck they at until they do. Until they commit and put the work in. And I think the reason why for this is because these people were choosing to do heinous and fucked up things to people. These people were deciding... To commit to being devilish. And it had been cool that they were just doing this shit to themselves. But they was inflicting on other people. It became a problem when they started doing shit to other people. Even though it's still a problem when you do it to yourself. Because the divine love you too. You are his. But it's a major problem when you sitting up here inflicting that and doing that shit to other people. So, it's going to be some loss. Those great attacks won't work on your spirit. As long as you're with me, I'll protect you. And what would people use for evil? The most high I use for your betterment. And he did that. See, this? I'm going to put this out. With this being right on the top after the shuffle, this is what occurred. People had a lot of stuff for evil for somebody, and the Most High used it for this individual's betterment because all they did was level up. They went from a Queen of Cups to the Empress. And the Hierophant. Somebody focused on self, they knew it was an inside job, so they wasn't worried about the people who were attacking them and doing all of these things, they kept their eyes on their justice here. So for these people, look, yep, look. This person trusted the divine. Trust is a major deal through the trials, tribulations, no matter what it looks like. That's what this person did. No matter what it was looking like, that's what they did. Somebody focused on self. We do it to ourselves, lack of knowledge, but trust me, it's nobody else but you, the one behind the gun. This post, even though things were coming up against this person, this person still focused on inward, within. And these people are going to, when they're going through this stuff, they're going to be trying to blame another, but no. These people did it to themselves for what they were trying to do to other people. Yeah, whoever this goddess was, was manifesting here. Manifest. Man, and I know people be like, you know, how people always ragging on what other people do. And they say, oh, that manifest and blah, blah, blah. Uh, you need to uh, just pray. You can manifest and you can also pray. Both of them are good. I recommend doing both. But even when you're praying, you're manifesting things too as well. When you pray and you ask for things. When you pray and you want things to change. That's still manifesting. So people need to stop being ignorant to other people here. But anyway, manifest. Man equals Yah, which is our father. I, I will to be what I will to be. Because the most high wills to be what he wills to be. Not what I will him, will him to be, not what you will him to be. He wills to be what he wills to be. 
fest, which equals celebration, manifestation, the man, Yah, in celebration of his holy day. Which today is. So this is beautiful. So people could even feel like this goddess energy shouldn't be able to manifest, shouldn't be one with the divine, shouldn't be a goddess, shouldn't be a higher level being. The most high wills to be what he wills to be. And he willed for this person to be just that. So that's what the fuck it is. Balance. Justice. Look, and then right out the top, stand still. If you leave it alone long enough, Yahweh will take care of it. Get out the way. This person stood still. And let the most high work it out. And that's exactly what's occurring. Look, Yahweh then came out. <laughs> Yah, masculine. The A equals Adam. So, Yah, because no, what it really is, is um, Y-H-W-H. The A for Adam, the E for Eve. It just shows how the most high Yahweh comes down yet again. Definite a, a pattern. So we have Yah, the masculine, Adam, Way, feminine, Eve, the father and the mother, Yahweh. What I say is payday. So it was payday now. It's payday. A lot of you actors and uh, actresses that could have fooled other people how y'all was being. It's payday. It's payday. So, whoever's on whatever side, it's payday. Shoot, somebody also could be getting paid today, okay, for whatever job you do or something like that. I don't know. Somebody might be receiving some type of payment on a Tuesday. Also, Look, these people that was being great actors and actresses, they didn't think that you would notice. <laughs> they didn't think that you would notice. See, this person understood that the things you go through is preparing you, even when Satan appears, believe it or not, it's all preparing you for something more. It's time for people to eat from the tree. People have been eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's time for you to eat from the tree of life. Some people about to get kicked out. This is Sparta. I'm telling you, some people about to get kicked the hell out. This is Sparta. His story repeats itself. So that's why I was talking about that pattern. His story repeats itself. So you can see things even within your life. That's why when you in the Bible and them th and, and things of that nature, because when I was in, when I was in it, I'm like, oh, this messy. <laughs> All of this stuff going on that these people got going on. But his story repeats itself. It, the things that were going on back then, they're going on today. It's for you to pay attention. It's for you to learn something because it's his story. It's about Yahweh. That's what we're here learning of, about who you truly are. We have Michael Jackson, Rock My World, okay? A perfect love I search for all my life. That's the love that you search for all your life. That is the perfect love. most holy place he dwells in the most holy place everything is within you 
We are fashioned after him. Even the tabernacles and the things that were built, they're fashioned after you. If you read in the Bible, Exodus 25 through 40 is very detailed. When I was reading, I was wondering, like, why is it so detailed? Why is it so repetitive? Because how you're made is very detailed. Things are repetitive. It's a pattern, which is beauty. So we have here in the atom is the proton and the cell is the nucleolus and the universe is the air and man is spirit and Noah's Ark is the upper story. This is just examples in the temple is the Oracle. The the most high Yahweh has nine attributes. The three attributes for here in Yahweh is wisdom, intelligence and knowledge in our systems, our body systems, because we're fashioned after him. More than you all realize, it's the reproductive system, which represents the archangel, the nervous system, which represents the cloud, and the endocrine system, which represents the other archangel. Okay, so somebody um, is receiving some sort of payday. So you, somebody is going to come into some type of money, and I just want to read this here. It'd be foolish to get bread and try to impress the very people who didn't want you or F with you. Newsflash, they still don't. They love your hand, though, but go off. That's dangerous. Oh, and then with this ending like this, with the Eight of Pentacles and in the top deck, uh, Yahweh, some of y'all need to commit to the most high and you have free will to do so whether you want to or not but for the people that do want to commit they do want to get clarity they do want to get clarity on their purpose they do want to grow they do want to get perfected in the spirit that's what you need to do that's the way and it's the only way and i speak with that with such boldly because before i have tried other ways i was looking into um like what I learned, like what I read about. I read about the Egyptians and stuff like that. Something just wasn't sitting right to, with me. I went to church and was hearing the preacher preach about God and stuff like that. It did not sit right with me. I even went to therapy for a split second. It felt like I was giving them jewels and stuff like that. It did not sit right with me. Even though ain't nothing wrong with therapy, talking, getting things out. Sometimes you need somebody to talk to, but you can also talk to the divine. The, Yahshua is a true friend that he's here for you. But I looked into different things and it just didn't take But the truth did. And the miracles and the beauty that I have seen, I'm just speaking from experience. Notification on my phone. I'm just speaking from experience. I'm going to give y'all the truth. So... For y'all the ones that want to connect or, you know, connect to the most high, you have free will. If you don't want to do that, don't do that. I mean, it still is. A, it's all a learning experience. I was just talking to my grandma. We just had a conversation before um, she had ended up leaving. And I was just saying, you can see the beauty. Like, say, for instance, I'm, a, I'm an enlightened being, right? There could be somebody that is dark and they're not enlightened. Me being an enlightened being, me sitting and watching this person that is not enlightened and it is in the dark, I'm seeing something. I'm learning something. Just like I learned things when I was in the dark before I became enlightened. Right? And then that, and then that person that's in the dark and it is not enlightened could be watching me learning something from me and they could end up being enlightened 
So it's not bad. And then even if they don't, you know, become enlightened or anything like that, it's still a learning experience for both parties. So, we finna end this with the Grateful Heart message. Know that the people that these individuals were attacking, know that you are safe. Remain committed to the divine. Everything will be all right. Excuse me. And y'all keep going and moving forward, expanding and learning and growing. Okay. No things will balance out here. Because justice is here. Justice and judgment. Let's get a grateful heart message, please. It says here, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly light. Keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow. We thank you, O Yahweh. We give thanks because you are near. Never miss an opportunity to see anything that is beautiful. The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh in the sky above proclaims his handiwork look at this this is perfect right here for i know the plans i have for you declares yahweh plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope so i hope you all got a message from this read that'll be able to help you along your journey know that yahweh loves you please like share subscribe and i'll see you all later peace